Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome to a freshly recorded video. Yes, we have got some stuff to go over and uh, this is all about the 8th anniversary. Happy 8th anniversary uh, to uh, to you for playing the game if you've been playing that long. This game has been running for 8 years, it's pretty impressive. But, you know, we've got some events. Uh, there's a few things that I'm trying to like look into, investigate a little bit more. Uh, because, let's face it, a lot, I think a lot of us were kind of looking to see whether or not the calendar would drop. Azkaban stated in their forum thread, uh, which is going to get out on screen right now, which it is, uh, under the calendar section, it says that December 10th is um, various different things, including a six-star hero crystal for those that have been Paragon. Um, but, um, yeah, like, it's not currently in-game, which you can see on screen right now. We've got the December and the Paragon one, uh, and it's and it's not there. I, I would say, like, it could be a case, once this video is out, it may be there. It could be a case that maybe it's running a day late. But also, you have to consider there's different time zones in the world. So, it could be a case that Kabam are treating this as a different time zone, or it's bugged. Right? It could be any number of those things at the moment. So I will uh, keep looking into it and see about like when things are meant to drop on certain stuff. As I said, those different things. Time zones, bugged, or um, it's under a different um, release schedule, or it's going to release a day late because Kabam can't do it for certain reasons. But again, we'll have to see about this particular event. So yeah, this video is kind of a part guide and uh, just kind of overview of some of the events. Now I'm a bit surprised that there's not more on offer and is that being a bit rude? Is it not? Don't know. Do bear in mind, the halls events will go into your side quest section. So at the moment it's halls of glory. Uh, and also like, uh, fair the warning, there may be some of halls like halls of fortune and halls of healing. They may cost energy. I don't want to say they are or not, but it could be a case that they possibly could do. Um, but yeah, I've updated my side quest uh, guide in order to kind of um, cover these uh, these new kind of events. And also we're going to go over in this video like how to kind of like do the, uh, the Quicksilver one. You've got three messages at the moment. You've got yourself your 8th anniversary title, which looks a little bit like this, which is all cool. And then you've got as well... Anniversary present for you a bit of a surprise in that we've got some Jessica Jones So if you wanted to play with Jessica Jones for the very first time uh, You can do especially with the four star three star and two star versions and that's that's pretty cool I might do a video on that one tomorrow. It's pretty cold at the moment uh, And I don't I'm moving my th fingers is a bit difficult We're gonna put the heating on in a minute and then we've got the England game. So um, yeah, like I'm, I'm gonna watch England play and then tomorrow uh, try and get some time to do some Jessica Jones based content so look out for that then um, and but it's cool to see that by the way thanks to Kabam for sending that out and also you get free four star Quicksilver honestly great for players I've got to like tell Emin in a second like go and check your your messages because like you might have got like a free champion for it so that's that right what is on when it comes to events now this is where it's kind of like I'm a bit unsure about it because um, there's great ways to kind of like do these events by the way uh, but the thing is I thought there would be like a special type of uh, like arena like not saying that we do have like an event for this but I thought there would be like a special arena like a sh like shard based arenas like we've had in the past so I was kind of a little bit disappointed not to not to see it but like what, what am I expecting like Kabam to kind of release everything and it, it's, it feels weird this year I kind of feel like there's I'm not saying there's less rewards because there are rewards on offer, you know, uh, through calendars and stuff. But it just would be nice to see like some extra type of like fun events. Like it's it's coming up to like it's December. This is meant to be a busy time. So I don't know. Maybe I was I'm expecting to see more than there is, um, but there isn't. Uh, but yeah, like um, we've got events. We've got stuff to do. So the first thing is that we've got a, a we've got objectives for uh, the Quicksilver one, which is Speed of Light. These speed of light ones are pretty cool, pretty doable. Now, one thing I do want to test out in this video is whether or not practice mode counts. Now, I've put on my spreadsheet a little bit of a breakdown of things, especially for the Quicksilver one, in that, uh, yeah, to get stuff done, you've got to do light attacks in order to be your finishing move, do mediums, do heavy attacks, SP1, SP2, SP3, as your last hit, right? Um, and uh, normally I'm like, I'm all about that, go to Road to Labyrinth for one energy per, per move. Um, but let's kind of, first of all, Check out practice. So let's test out practice to see if it works. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to choose like a one star champion and I'm going to just practice with my six star 
um, Quicksilver. Now you've got the four star one, something that four star one that you can use. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do is just like we're going to tap on the screen. Tap, 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 tap. Come on, stop it. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, finishing move was a light attack. That's confirmed. But the question is, does practice work? Because I don't want to be spending my energy. I'd, well, I'd rather not spend my energy. Let's let's see. Does it come up within the objective? I've seen nothing pop up just then, but it doesn't mean to say it's not. So, so there we go. You cannot use. <laughs> That's sad, man. I thought well, win five fights. Like it didn't come up with like one, like one. Of the... So you're gonna have to use questing as a means to kind of like get that done. So yeah, um, it's time to break out one energy places. I mean, you could look at to do things like, um, uh, what well, like arena, but let's go with Road to Labyrinth. Oh yeah, you could do lower difficulties and things like event quests, like you could do heroic, you could do normal, again, down to a personal preference on that stuff. I kind of find because there's the, the extent of energy spend, like to go from the start of a quest to an end to a quest and stuff like a, you know, event quest, it, it kind of, you end up overspending on your energy. So sadly, Road to Labyrinth looks like it's going to be the quintessential place to, to go. Uh, you could also use incursions. I would say that's another place to use, but, you know, I'm... Um, I'm more of this kind of like quest one road to labyrinth, and um, at least I know that I could just set my team up like this, so I don't I don't I don't make any um, you know failures uh, with it. I'm pretty certain it is it, we've got to use quicksilver, isn't it? In this case, yes, 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 you, yes, 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 yes. Use quicksilver, yes, use quicksilver. And yeah, at least you know like what you're getting yourself involved with with um, with this, and it kind of like there we go. It actually popped up, so we we saw that you can use road to labyrinth as as a means. It's one energy, one energy tile spend. Incursions may be better um, if you kind of like want to do lower rarity with it. But I mean, you, most people got four star versions. If you're higher up in the game, you may have like five star, six star version. And incursions may be an option for that. But it's a shame that it doesn't work with, um, with the likes of oh, practice. Because practice would have been a better way, a more efficient way of doing it. So, you know, that kind of gives you an idea with that one. Now, I think you kind of like get the idea when it comes to like doing this. You know, you've just got to do like like light, light attack ending like that so we're doing lights tapping swiping heavy attack and stuff like that um and it, that, that's the easiest way to do it i can advise now when it comes to dethroned solo event that's going to be a very important thing as well because the dethroned solo event uh, you do get some like nice stuff it all adds up and i think it adds up to uh 10,000 six star shards there's a load of units on offer but how to get the points is the most important thing. And it's win fights in arena using one star champions, win in fights in arena using two star champions. As I said, I would have liked to have seen a special arena for this. There may be something dropping next week. We don't know. But uh, yeah, it just would be nice to kind of like see that. So I've broken down some stuff in it when it comes to like the points acquisition. To get all the points is 100,000 points you need, right? That's required for the total event. And it's, yes, using one stars and two stars. 50 fights with just using a one star champion over the seven days of the event um, will get you the 10, will get you the 100,000 points you need, or 200 fights with just two star champions over seven days of the event. So, you know, it's, you know, it's options. It's options of how you want to tackle it. And here's an, here's an example right here, which is, for example, in two hours of MCSU grind, if you have 52 stars, and five one stars champ one star champions, and you can potentially get over uh, get every two hours fifty times two hundred points. That's ten thousand points plus ten thousand points from those five one stars means twenty thousand points every two hours of grind. So ten hours worth of work, and it's done. If you have the um, if you have fifty of those um, uh, of those two stars and five of those uh, those one stars. Now I've just got to check that really of like how many one stars. Oh, a few. Uh, like I mean that that theory for me works out because I've got um one or I got one two three, times that twelve thirteen. I got thirteen, so that's good for me because then I can just kind of get like a huge chunk. And I believe it's like two hours on the re reset. Could be one hour thirty minutes. I could be wrong on that one. Um, but I I think there's a regular rotation for it. In any case, you'll probably be able to do it over the case of uh, the amount of days uh, required. Arena wise, again, this is a this is a difficult one, isn't it? Because essentially you're going to be using your two stars in the summoner trials. I would say whilst you get a chance in some of these other ones, these kind of catalyst clashes, just to use those one stars and two stars. And also because of the way that this is set up, which is the dethroned 
uh, solo event is all about. Come on, quickly, come on. There we go. Um, the dethrone solo event is all about you doing. Uh, is it getting wins? Yeah, getting wins. I would say kill off your streaks. So if you if you're doing the lower arenas like uh, Catalyst Arena and stuff, it's kill off your streaks. So if you get it to times three, or you get to a point where you're getting death matches, then good. Kill off your streak, kill off your champions, and start again. Because you'll get easier wins as you're building up to the times three. Again, down to a personal preference on that one. That's worked fine for me in the past. But again, um, down to you guys and how you want to uh, play this. I hope there's more on offer from the 8th anniversary. Yes, the banquet event is coming up, but it just would be nice to see something else. Like whether or not there's some other kind of like fun quest on offer. Yes, we do the side quest, but um, I don't know. Maybe I was expect as I said, maybe I was expecting a lot more from the 8th anniversary uh, to see. It's great that we're going to be getting some freebies from the calendar, but um, you know, at the moment that's not um, that's not up. I'm sure that it will come up um, in time, um, but uh, yeah, yeah, should be um, should be good. Oh, and funny enough, if you reset your device and because I didn't see it because you know it wasn't there, we saw it. Um, you will see like the shard arena, so that answers my question. Um, I, I do think that this may be because like I was thinking like oh yeah, well there's no six star shard arena. I don't know, maybe Kabam were kind of treating the, treating the dethroned solo event as being like less work for you to grind out in some of the lower ones in order to get some stuff, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but not necessarily a good thing at the same time. So again, like down to kind of like personal thought process on that one, whether or not you like it or not, um, maybe go do the grind in these arenas then, and or maybe spread out your grind between the two stars and one stars to kind of accumulate wins very, very quickly without having to def have death matches. But in any case... There we go. That's been the video. Thank you very much for watching. Check out some other content which will be located on screen right now. And I will see you, see you in the next one. And there may be like another video tomorrow. Another couple of videos. Cheers, everybody. Have a good one. Bye-bye.